come away with the ball and he's fouled. Free kick to Oxford, 10 yards inside their own half. That brings a bigger cheer than most goals will bring. <laughs> 33,000 people going absolutely mad. Must be, I've got 30 seconds on me. I've got 30 seconds on my watch. Now, four minutes were added, so there's still 90 seconds to go. 90. Look at the yellow and blue and listen to that. Ryan Clark kicks for the corner flag. Constable, make sure it gets there. Try to York City deep in their own half, right by their corner flag near side of the field. One or two York fans are making their way out of the ground. No one in yellow and blue is yet. Potter and Day don't get to the ball. Triton hoists it towards the corner flag once more. It will run out of play for a goal kick to York City. Michael Ingham, the keeper, is determined to get the ball back in play as quickly as possible. As soon as it settles, he hoists it forward over the halfway line. Reese Day wins it in the air for United. Foreman's after it. Constable's almost onto a back pass there. Chases down against Ingham, who clears it nicely. Well, not that nicely under pressure. It could go straight to Sam Deering. Deering sets off. Destination corner flag, maybe. Referee having a look at his watch. Maybe 15 seconds to go, but Clist is breaking forward for United. Left-hand side, by the corner flag. Deering in support. Out of play, far side of the field. And the referee brings the agony to an end. It's redemption for Oxford United. Back on the coupon. Back in the Football League. Back where they belong. Just... Scenes here, it's just unbelievable. Totally what we deserve. Cheers up here in the uh, commentary box. And uh, amazing. Just amazing scenes here. Unbelievable. Just love this, love this. 33,000 people. And the commentary box. In tears. It's true. You don't have to pinch yourselves, boys, I can tell you. Oxford United are back in the Football League. Thanks, Nathan. I'll tell you, we're up here and, and I'm looking down on the pitch. And to be, I'm looking at the players going down towards the, uh, the fans. Oxford United fans, Chappie's, Chappie's down and he's balling his eyes out as well. And, uh, what a game by Adam Chapman today. I think he swung that game, Peter. I thought he was magnificent in that midfield. Him and Jake off. Wright are just superb. Well, you give a man in a match to, to Chappie, great, but you could give every man counted there today. All the three subs used, people on the bench. I mean, that's a great substitution, by the way, double substitution by the Jack Gapper. Mitchell has climbed over the barriers, is now in the crowd just down below us. Sell it. He's got a scarf. He might get put for that, Nick. Ah, he's got two scarves. Brilliant. That Four is... years of purgatory we have had. Four years of hurt for a great, great football club has come to an end. What a way to end with this 3-1 win. And we look forward to Oxford United back in the Football League. Peter Rose Brown and I cannot believe it. Jerome, I don't even know where he is. He's gone, he's just disappeared for a couple of seconds, but you yeah. and I will be here and it's, you know, they're just setting the stage up for the for the presentation of the trophy, you know, the runners up. But uh, hey, if you're going to go up, Nick, Let's go up at Wembley. Yeah. You know? No disrespect to Grays, Ebbsfleet, Barrow, Eastbourne Borough, and all the other people for the last four years that have made us cups of tea, made us so, so welcome. Thank you for that. But Oxford United are back where they belong in the Football League. This is just the start of a big, big adventure for Kelvin Thomas and the manager, Chris Wilder. Just a great day to be a fan.